another quick tutorial for you today. Uh, what I want to show you is how to easily UV unwrap uh, wires or pipes. It can be a hassle sometimes to get the UVs proper, so this trick I hope to ease things up a bit. So with our object selected, we want to make sure we're in the modeling tab and we go up to UV, UV editor. And we also want to go to, with the object selected, we want to go to UV automatic. So as you can see, the automatic mapping doesn't do the greatest of a job on uh, these types of objects. So the trick I'm gonna show you is gonna um, work some magic. So we wanna select everything and we want to go to modify unitize. From here, we need to deselect our uh, caps on the end. You never want the caps selected for this process. So I'm going to go into face mode, um, deselect the end, and make sure I get the other uh, the other pieces selected there. So we just want to deselect the caps. There we go. And we want to back in here, pull that off to the side. These are all the polygons for our caps. So I'm going to go into edge mode, select them all, deselect the uh, the body of the pipe, and from here we can go cut and sew, uh, move and sew. It's going to give you this ugly object here. What I need to do now is go into UV shell, just move it to the side um, because there's two, and we want to optimize, click that a few times, and unfold. Same thing here, optimize, unfold. Now we have both of our caps um, flattened pretty nicely and what we want to do is now work on the body of the pipe. So select all your edges in here and deselect the caps and we want to, um, very important, it's gonna, what we're gonna do now is stitch everything together, however we need to um, deselect a seam for our UV unwrap. So I'm just gonna hold control and double click and make a seam. I'm actually going to make it a little bit um, just directly underneath the pipe. So uh, deselect that seam and once we have that deselected we can come back up to cut and sew and go to move and sew. This will lay out everything very nicely. Let's go back into face mode, select everything, and hit optimize, unfold. Uh, we want to get this pretty flat. So um, it's not gonna be perfect, but we can make it perfect. So try to get this thing as flat as possible along the X, Y axis. And what I can do is go to, let's see, um, straighten UVs. Boom, just like that. And I think I can um, hit optimize a couple times and straighten UVs again. And now we have a perfect unwrapped pipe. And if I open my material browser and apply just a quick checker pattern, make sure we're in object mode, right click, assign to um, object, and turn on uh, display port, um, viewport shading, and I actually, to get the pattern a bit more visible, we are going to select all the faces and just make them a lot smaller. We want to bring it to our one-to-one -one space. That's good enough for this example. And you can see now, everything is pretty perfect along there. You can see where the seam is, but everything's looking pretty good on there. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I don't get back in Maya too often with my new job working in Max and V-Ray. I personally love Max and V-Ray, but um, since I've used both applications and I'm pretty proficient in each, 
they both have their pros and cons. Um, they both have their strengths and weaknesses. I actually made this object in 3ds Max um, for the fillet. Um, making splines like this in Max is a piece of cake. Uh, whereas in Maya, it, I worked in, I've worked in Maya for years, and nothing has um, done uh, worked the same way that it does in Max. But anyway. I hope you enjoyed this. Please click like on this video and subscribe if um, you would like to see more. Check out www.illumiondigital.com for more tutorials and content. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.